Okay, so the worst part of any sort of tech review is the unboxing, so I will be as quick as I can with it. It's absolutely beautifully presented. Apart from looking like a beautifully ornate cardboard coffin, on the back we've got a few of the features and also the specs for the torch as well. I will put all those in the video description. I don't want to waste time in the unboxing part because, as I say, I don't like doing unboxings. The Olight have absolutely gone to town on this one. It is, as I said before, wonderfully presented. The quality of everything is absolutely excellent. And in here, I've got the instructions, which are exceptionally detailed. Yeah, man. In there, we've got a little lanyard, which we can attach to the flashlight, which I'll do in a moment. That has a really nice feature to it as well, which you don't often see. Um, also, we've got the Olight charger. That just fits on the back of the light, which I'll show you in a moment. Goes to a USB fitting. That means you can plug it into your computer, into a, a you know a USB plug. You can plug it into a little folding solar panel or a power bank. It's very versatile and very simple as well because you literally just put that on the end of your light. Even the little belt case that comes with it is well made. It, it, it just has a strong, well made, tactical feel to it. And in there, we've got the fella himself, the Olight M2R Pro Warrior. Apparently this is an upgrade from the previous version. I haven't actually taken a look at the previous version, but according to the stats, it is significantly improved. This is gonna sound stupid, but it, it feels almost like it it has a like a soul to it, you know? <laughs> That's that might just sound stupid to a lot of people. But it feels like it it, it willingly wants to do a job for you. Um, I've never had that sort of feeling before from a flashlight, but this one just, I don't know, it just oozes intelligence and honesty. It's got a strong belt clip there that can be removed. You just take that off if you don't want it. The end of the light has got what's called a strike bezel or bezel, depending on what part of the world you come from. That's basically used for breaking windows or attacking your enemy. On the end here we've got something that could be described as a pressure switch because when you press it lightly the light comes on at whatever power you have it set at and then when you continue to press it so it goes all the way in it comes on at high power. So you've kind of got half power, high power or you can press it all the way and it's straight into high power. So I'll give this a quick press just to put it on, like a permanent on. There you go. And then using the mode button, you can hold that in and cycle through the various power outputs. If I'd want it to be on a lesser power when it comes on, simply release there. Hopefully you can see that is on quite low. That would be described as low. It's not exactly Firefly, although there is a Firefly setting, which apparently lasts for about 50 days or something. So now, I'll switch it off, give it a half press, it comes on at that power, and then when we give it the full press, it comes on at full power. It's very customizable. And what that enables you to do is basically just use the half press for navigation, full press if you want to highlight anything. As far as the charging goes, as I say, this is a magnetic fitting, and all you do to charge it is drop that on the end. I think it goes from red when it's charging to green when it's fully charged. It might go red to blue, I cannot remember. Basically, it changes colour when it's fully charged. Also, the middle of the mode button will change colour as well. So if that's red, you know it desperately needs charging. Okay, so I mentioned the little lanyard before. And it's got a really nice feature. I'm not sure whether the camera's going to pick it up though. It's got a tiny little pin 
on the end. And what that enables you to do is get the cord through there very, very easily. So we'll basically poke it through, give it a pull, and we've got it through. That's just a nice touch. It's just another one of those Olite things that set them apart. Now we can just take that little pin off. Lanyard's attached. And even that feels like quality. It feels like almost like it's got like neoprene or something inside. It's exceptionally soft. It's got a little press release on there. So we basically press it to open it up. Press it to tighten it. And that's going nowhere. Do you know, I really wish that my stupid video camera would be better in low light conditions, but unfortunately it isn't. What I'm gonna show you is no real indication of what it actually looks like in real life. This is a really, really good light. When we take it from that little belt bag, it's sitting light down. So when we lift it out, we do take it out in a tactical fashion. <laughs> I'm not gonna go on like some of these US guys who are going to all the tactical sort of things, but basically it is, you know, it is designed to be used tactically. But the dangerous end, which is this end, will be facing whatever it is you want to illuminate. Generally, when I use a flashlight, I would like it to be at the very least on half power for navigation. Depends what I'm going through. I might want it not so much on Firefly because that's very low, but on a low setting. And then when I either double press on a different flashlight or full press on this, I want it at full power to see exactly what's out there. I don't know, this might be a decent place to do it because we've got a tree over there somewhere that has white bark, so it should reflect pretty well. I'll just put this on half power. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. Difficult to see on the viewfinder. I'll put it on full power. Yeah, I can see on the viewfinder that's picking that up pretty well. Okay, so those little trees are approximately 45 yards away. Again, they're silver birch, so they've got white bark. They do reflect quite nicely. I'm not sure what that's going to come out like on video, but in real life, as it were, that lights it up very, very well. It's definitely not like a flood light. It's definitely not what I would describe as a thrower light, but it's somewhere in between. I mean, it, it really does illuminate whatever it's pointing at very, very well. So would I recommend this light? Absolutely. To be honest, I don't think there's an O-Light light that I haven't given 10 out of 10 to. They really give, oh, they just pay such attention to detail. The construction of them is absolutely beautiful. This one has got a really high capacity battery. Again, I'll put the details to it in the video description it feels like your buddy and i can see why o lights used by a lot of like military and um, police sort of types because this it does feel just like a buddy at your side you know it, it's it's a really funny feeling i've never had that sort of feeling before from any sort of flashlight or any sort of like electronic gadget or anything like that this one definitely feels different Okay guys, if you're interested in this, I will put the link to it in the video description. I'll also put the link to the Olight store, and I'll also put a link to the Instagram page of Olight as well, because I know, although I'm on Instagram and don't really use it much, I do see a lot of posts from Olight, and they do have special offers on, even outside of the silly season. So they're definitely worth checking out. Check out the video description and also the pinned comment. That will have all relevant links. Thanks very much for watching goes without saying this is a 10 out of 10 i'll see you next time